Hey, how's it going? Today, we're gonna go over how to draw Godzilla and Ninja Turtles combined. It's gonna be a simple, easy, for beginner drawing lesson. Let's get started. All right, let's go around and draw a Ninja Turtle and Godzilla mixed as one character. It's gonna be real simple and easy, and I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. So let's get started, all right? Um, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a curve right here for the top of the Ninja Turtle's head. All right. And I'm gonna pull a little bit longer, just a little bit longer here on each side. And what I'm gonna do over here, and draw a curve for kind of the top of the brow of the mask. Pull line over here straight. And we're gonna pull another curve line at the top for the brow. Um, you're gonna find that that stuff's really subtle, so don't be, you know, don't be frustrated or anything like that. Everything's gonna be very subtle. And you wanna get the impression of the drawing, not so much exactly what the drawing is, right? We're dealing with impressions here. We'd be like, okay, I can tell what that is. Curve right here on the inside for the eye. And I'm gonna pull a line underneath. Kinda looks like a peanut shape or an all-in. Curve right here for kind of the bottom of that mask of the Ninja Turtle. Pulling down here, we're gonna find the other eye on that end now. There we go. Curve around here. And then out over here down, pulling up. <sighs> okay. Gonna continue to find the rest of that mask and it's gonna be right over here to the back of the head. It's gonna be right at the back of the head right there. Going here to the front, top of the Ninja Turtle's mouth. And I'm gonna pull a line underneath here. Kind of give a little Ninja Turtle smirk. So here's a differentiator we're gonna go in right here. We're gonna go with Ninja Turtle here, sharp teeth going downward. And yeah, there's been different versions of the Ninja Turtles that, that kind of have that, but we're doing our Godzilla mix here. Curve underneath for the lower portion of the mouth, pulling back right there. It's got that round head. <laughs> Tie at the end right here, and then we're gonna give it line, line, and then have like, you know, looks like a little, I don't know, looks like a fruit roll up or something out in the wind right there. We're basically just throwing uh, whatever line we feel like because it's gonna be in the wind, right? We just want it extended. Sometimes it can be like a little knot, but I personally like it better that way. Line over here. Line over here at the front for kind of the front of the chest area. And Curve over here, we're gonna find the arm out over here for this arm, in. Think of the arm as like a tube right there, curved upon itself, line over here. And this time I'm gonna draw spikes instead of the usual Ninja Turtle kind of hands <laughs> to give it that Godzilla claw shape, <coughs> excuse me. Pull in over here to a circle, kind of like that belt circle, that belt loop. Line over here, line over here, and line over here at the edge. If you really want, we could put like the letter G right here for Godzilla. <laughs> line over here. So I'm breathing a little weird. I don't know, I think it's the way I'm sitting. Front over here, line down, line across, and line across. Curve over here on this side. All right. Outward on the far end for the hand on that far end. Line over here on the far end. And then we're going to throw some spikes over here. And then let's throw a shell back here just to kind of make that obvious. Switch the markers a little bit right there. One's dry. It's gonna throw a shell back there. And I'm gonna change the feet, by the way. So we're gonna curve right here, but we're also gonna have curve, curve for like Godzilla style feet. 
which is gonna look really weird. Um, right over here, in, in, in for one foot, in over here for the other foot and the back of the heel right there. Now we're gonna try to make sense of it here. Curve down, curve down over here. And we're gonna have a, like behind this, we're gonna have the tail that goes out right there. All right, so far, so good. We need some spikes. So spike right here. So triangle, triangle, triangle. And it's gonna get a little bit bigger as it goes downward. And it's just gonna be all on the shell. Like so. I'm not even gonna overlap these as much, but think of them as small mountains, right? There's a zigzag, there's a peak, and then it goes down. And remember, they don't have, those don't have to be exact, right? If I draw them again, they're gonna be a little bit different probably. So just kind of take that into account that you want the impression of something. We'll draw a line over here. You want the impression of something and not the exact like layout. And you know, for the shell itself, they're kind of like little hexagons, right? Or octagons. So we're just gonna think about it like a soccer ball on his back texture. And again, you just want that impression. You don't, doesn't have to be any exact thing, you know? Line over here, pulling down over here on this side, line over here on this side, line, 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 line over here. And one last thing I would say to do, I mean, obviously there's a lot of stuff you can keep doing on this, like throw little textures right here for the scales, maybe little curvatures. There's a little curve, see, on the bottom of stuff, like they're catching, you know, shadow. But the other thing I really like to do, and I know you see me do this in a lot of different videos, uh, and I think you should do it too, is to throw a little bit of a thicker line on the outside of all this stuff. You know, when you throw a little bit of a darker line on the outside of this stuff, it kind of gives it a, I don't know, it makes the stuff on the inside look a little bit more complicated because now the stuff that look like general detail, now it kind of looks like smaller detail because you tend to judge things depending on um, comparison. Comparison is big. So, you know, like contrast, right? What is big versus small? like that scale, what is, uh, you know, light versus dark, that's also scale. You know, you wanna, that's kind of something, that's the way this works, in my opinion. What's happening is here, there is a, there is a, um, you know, thicker outline. So in comparison, the inner lines are gonna look thinner and therefore maybe look more like detail maybe like fine detail all right there you go i want to thank you very much uh let's move on to the next drawing lesson i want you to stay with me and let's do another one together okay so that was amazing you finished this lesson but keep it going keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here it's going to be within the same theme and you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.